Welcome to Business Live. I'm Mark Crossgrey in BL tonight. First off, we got the gaming and entertainment giant. That's SVL Supreme Ventures Limited trading in their shares. Sometimes in the industry, they call this a cross trade, where the buy and the sell, it matches up. Advisory that on October 3rd, 2022, a director purchase just over 319,000 shares in SVL and a related entity sold the exact volume, 319,425 shares. Again, buy, sell side, matching up there. Now, Paramount Trading Jamaica Limited, PTL, appointment of a director here. Paramount Trading, making some big moves here. It's pleased to welcome Mr. Emmanuel De Rosa to the board of directors, effective October 6th. Now, Sagicor Group Jamaica trading their shares as well. Sagicor Group advises an executive sold a total of 85,000 SJ. That's the ticker symbol shares on September 30th to end September. Now, the leading financial group, that's NCB Financial Group Limited, Jamaica's largest financial group and bank, announcing leadership development changes here at their major subsidiary. NCBFG, that's NCB Financial Group, please advise the market, Jamaica Stock Exchange, the appointment of Mr. Ian Chinapu as CEO, Chief Executive Officer and Director of its major Trinidadian and Tobago uh, subsidiary of Guardian Holdings Limited, that's GHL, effective October 1st to kick off October and the fourth quarter for NCB Financial Group with a bang and in a big way. Last up tonight, before you head into the weekend, First Rock Real Estate Investments, that's First Rock Share by back advisory approximately the fourth one here they are rocking and rolling at first rock advisory that a total of 300,000 shares of first rock us dollar were purchased between september 28th to september 29th and 100,000 first rock on the jamaican dollar side shares were purchased on september 28th under the company's share buyback program. First Rock further advises the price is very transparent to the market. Uh, on the US dollar side, just under 6 cents to so 0.690 price per share. On the Jamaican dollar side, 12.70 to 13.75. Again, have a great weekend. I'm Mark Crosscree. This is Business Live.